Okay, I'm going to do one more video on behaviors, and then that's going to be it for a while. I'm going to move on to my positive videos. But I am going to address Mrs. Portland, and I know, you know, it's feeding the fire, whether it's positive or negative, if you address Mrs. Portland. And after this video, I'm not going to address her anymore. Unless something, you know, major blows up. But I, I just think it's best that she is not addressed. But I am going to do this one video on her. I seen her community post and it's getting out of hand. So I guess I'm going to just address her for all the other communities. Why not? Um, first, I was seeing uh, where she is calling out, you know, uh, different people. Um, she, you know, before this was going on and on about Natasha. And I've, I've said it before, you know, Natasha did not do anything to her to begin with. Sorry, Mrs. Portland, you are obsessed with Natasha. I made videos before about it. It was a love obsession. Now it's a hate obsession. And you need to get over it. Okay? And you can apologize as many times as you want. People can accept that apology and still not want you in their community. That's their choice. Your bad behaviors in the past has probably made them come to that, you know, decision. And... Most of the creators that you have made your apologies to have not said a word about you, okay? They haven't said nothing. Um, so they might have accepted your apology, but they're just, you know, uh, moving on and they have other things that they are doing. So they're not acknowledging you and that's the problem. You need the attention focused on you and you're not getting it. So. You know, you want to say you're sorry, you're sorry, and since they're not acknowledging you, now you're going on the war path, okay? And now you're calling them out. Now, some other creators, uh, you had to keep talking about them and about them, and they finally retaliated, and it took a while, but they uh, addressed you. And so then you said that they're attacking you. No, they just addressed you because you wouldn't stop. And, you know, and then you're calling other people out. And uh, another person is Noodle Mash. And I happen to watch some of Noodle Mash's videos as well. And one of the comments that you put on there is, uh, you know, about her, her crafts. You're warning everybody not to to buy anything from her that um, she orders everything online okay and that she doesn't make these products and you know that's a lie okay we see a lot of lies already I mean you admitted to lying so and, and we already know um, she's in her her craft room we see this we see the materials that she she makes her items from and she's also doing some of the crafts right in front of us and you're warning warning people not to buy from her and and this woman um, she seems like a very nice lady and you know she has put it out there that she has known mrs portland you know personally for uh, many years and she is putting out content and doing her crafts and talking about her crafts as well as other other things so mrs portland it seems like <clears throat> she does not like the attention this woman is getting and as well as this woman decided to join a community that mrs portland is not happy about um and she's growing her channel because she's engaging with uh, her viewers and um, the content that she's putting out 
people are interested in. Well, Mrs. Portland, you could do the same with your viewers, you know, um, looks like you bought a lot of your subs, but you're not engaging with anybody. You're too focused on uh, going around to everybody's community and trying to see what's going on so that you can bring gossip about, um, you know, uh, well, basically lies, okay, uh, back to your channel and just put it on your community wall or make little videos and then you delete them, delete them anyways and spew hate, okay, and say everybody's attacking you and this and that, which are a bunch of lies as well. Yeah, some people are making, you know, videos. Um, they are doing videos on you all the time. But the people that you are saying are attacking you, they're not doing that. Not the people that you are calling out. They're not attacking you. Some of the ones that you're calling out, they're not even saying a word about you. You're just mad that they are not allowing you in your community. Um, sometimes you have to stand on your own. You kind of burnt those bridges with what you've done. And sometimes when you ha keep saying you're sorry, but you do the same behavior over and over and over, um, people are done with it. All right. They're not going to accept that behavior back into their community. So you're going to have to stand on your own and you're going to have to build your own community. And maybe you need to engage with your own viewers and give them content instead of the hate. Um, engage with them instead of ignoring them. Now with uh, Noodle Mash, um, again, you, you said that, you know, uh, she's buying this stuff on off of, you know, the net or whatever, which you know is a lie and not to do business with her. Well, there's a lot of people, including myself, that will be buying because we like what she makes. We uh, think that she's very talented and she does awesome work. So, you know, that little tactic or that little tantrum that you're throwing isn't going to work. And you also stated that um, you put her name out there and you put her husband's name out there and you said that her husband, um, you know, he takes care of her and he basically, I, I ain't saying this word for word, um, you know, has to do everything for her while she lays on her back. Well, clearly when she's doing her video, she's not laying on her back, okay? She's, she's sitting up and she's engaging and um, she's doing her crafts uh, as she's speaking. And, um, you know, he's got to be uh, basically, you know, fed up with her, in other words. Um, you know, that's kind of rich coming from what your husband must have to put up with daily, okay, multiple times a day with your little tantrums. And you also said, like I was saying, that he has to wait on her hand and foot, basically, um, and you called her fat um, because she lays on her back and he does everything for her. Again, that's pretty rich coming from you when you have put it out there that, you know, basically your husband does everything, cooking, and you have someone coming in doing the, the cleaning, and you basically do nothing. Nothing. There's nothing that you do but be on the internet all the time. Um, sneaking around to find out what everybody's doing and if anybody's talking about you or uh, trying to find out what gossip you can bring back and put out there for your own gain, okay, or to try to get the tea on somebody. You basically have put out there that you don't do anything, not a thing. 
that your husband does everything for you. So how can you sit there and degrade somebody, all right, that, that you don't even, you haven't seen this woman in a few years, or um, at least that's what she has put out there. She hasn't lived, you know, by you in a few years. You have no clue what she does or what her husband does, but you sure have put out there basically that you don't do anything, okay? You don't do anything. Your husband does it all, all right? And then you wanted to talk about um, surviving the storm, okay, that she, you put out there before that she financially stole from you or used you or whatever because she put money into your PayPal and then she took it back. Well, sorry, uh, maybe you were bad-mouthing her or something and she decided, um, you know, <laughs> If you're going to talk crap about me, then I'm not donating to you. And she took the money back. It is what it is. You know, maybe you should control that mouth of yours and act your age. Um, and then you wanted to talk about, you put something out there about Country Joe. Uh, I don't even know what that was about. I mean, like I said, you, you, you got to go everywhere. And then you said something about Jessica Lynn. Um, again, you just apologized and and said so many good things about her after you were so horrible to her for nothing. Again, Jessica Lynn didn't do anything to you uh, to begin with either, just like Natasha didn't. Uh, she just didn't want you in her community anymore when you said the most horrible things about her and her child. And... You know, you have apologized, and that's fine, okay? But Jessica Lynn has not been talking about you either, at all, and you're just so mad because either A, she hasn't acknowledged you, okay? Or B, you know, you just can't come back in the community. I, I, I don't know which it is, but you have to put out... You know, at least I haven't been in jail. At least I haven't been in jail. I can say that for myself. Well, I'm going to go and be really mean here. At least Jessica Lynn has her children. Okay? If you want to be mean and nasty, you say, well, at least I never stole. At least I have my, ch you know, at least I've never been in jail. Well, at least she has her children. You know, you, you have to stop this, Mrs. Portland, okay? Some people have not said a word about you. Nothing. But you're you're mad. See, that that's the thing. It doesn't matter if people don't even say a word about you. You're going to go after them. Because it doesn't matter if you get attention or you don't get attention. You're going to go on the attack. Because... You want in their community so bad. You have a community now. Pull up your big girl panties and build your community. Give them content. Stop ignoring them, the real ones that are in there, okay? Stop obsessing over what Natasha's doing, all right? And trying to copy what she's doing, all right? You, you, can, you can sell, you're allowed to, sell whatever you want to sell. If that's what you choose to do, it's your channel. You can do what you want on your channel. So if you choose to, if you want to sell things, sell it. But the thing is, is what you're doing, all right, calling everybody out and saying, at least I don't do this and I don't do that and calling people out by their name and bringing in family members, Mrs. Portland, that's not right, all right? It's not right. I know I kind of hit below the belt, but, you know, you're the one 
that has put that business out there, okay? I didn't. You did. You already put all that out there. But you have a community. Some creators stand alone. They don't. Some creators don't go on other panels. Some creators don't go into other communities. They absolutely stand on their own. And it seems like that's what you're going to have to do. Or you're going to have to go outside of this circle of communities and find different communities. You did it before you came in this circle. Okay? You did. But see, you, you did the same behavior in that community before you came to this circle of communities. It looks like you're going to have to stand on your own. And you're going to have to forget about the drama community the, this circle of drama community because you burnt all the bridges you have and it's everybody's choice if they want you to be in their community and they've made their decision that's clear but you have your own community now build from it quit ignoring your own people And like I said, you know, um, most everybody out there, they're, they're not talking about you until you, you start all this stuff. And then some creators, they're not even saying a word. And that's what's really ticking you off is that people are not giving you the attention. Act your age. Like I said, pull up your big girl panties, okay, and stop trying to play the victim and you're doing it. You're playing the victim. You are. And again, there's people that like noodle mash. Okay. So again, your, your little thing that you put about not buying from her, that's not going to stop people. Okay. And you know, all these other little things that, that you're putting out about people, that's not going to stop people from liking them. So you might be warning your community, but, you know, I don't know how many people are actually real subs in there, to be honest. But you can grow your channel. You, you might have to branch out away from this drama community. So with that, I'm going to go. Okay. I'm not going to address Mrs. Portland again. And I do believe that when you do address Mrs. Portland and make videos, especially video after video or whatever, it does feed the fire. And I do get that. But right is right, wrong is wrong. And I'm just addressing it for everybody, I guess. And we know she's not going to stop. We know that. Um, you know, there's going to come a time where YouTube will take take her down if she doesn't stop permanently, no matter how many channels she wants to build, you know, that IP address or whatever, once they get a hold of that, she won't be able to have any channels at all. And every time she tries to get another channel, they're going to catch it and take her down. So, I mean, Mrs. Portland, you don't want that, do you? I mean... It seems like YouTube is so important to you and building a community is so important. So build it, build it on your own merit and not off of being hateful to everyone else. So with that, I'm going to go. This will be my last video for a while on behaviors. I promise I'm going to get back to the um, more positive videos like I was talking about. And I'm going to leave it at that because again, like I said, you know, negative attention, positive attention is just going to fuel the fire. So everyone have a great evening and we will see you again.